Hey everybody, my name is Alex Chacon. I'm currently in the country of Egypt, one of my favorite places in this world, the Great Pyramids of Giza. There are more than 130 pyramids in Egypt, but the pyramids in Giza are the sole remaining intact seventh wonder of the world. They were built to escort pharaohs into the afterlife. All right, your tip today is skip the very big first pyramid where everybody's hanging out and go to the very last small pyramid because it basically looks the same and there's nobody there. Definitely the better experience of the three pyramids, I think. The Great Pyramid alone is thought to have over 2 million stone blocks ranging from 2 to 50 tons each. Historians estimate that over 100,000 people, mostly paid workers, not slaves, were involved in the construction over the course of 20 years. So the other thing is that it's really hot and it's really bright. So definitely brace some sunglasses because I can just barely even stare at the camera now. I recommend like long sleeves. Uh, and if you want to get real Egyptian, you can actually buy these typical Egyptian things, tourist things anyway, they're just souvenir things. I am not ready to hit the Egyptian pyramids. Let's do this. Amazingly, despite the scorching heat outside, the temperature inside the pyramids remains a cool and constant 20 degrees Celsius. I don't know what's going on, but I keep finding trash and plastic and metal. I keep finding a bunch of garbage around the pyramids, which is not something I expected being such a protected site, right? These grand structures can actually be seen from outer space. And curiously, Cleopatra was worn closer to the invention of the iPhone than to the building of the pyramids. These people who keep asking you for camel rides and horse rides, they're very relentless and they don't leave you alone. They literally will follow you all the way down to the end of the pyramid and back the entire day to get one ride off of you. No, thank you. <laughs> so, as you see, this happens all day long here. The Egyptian people are very friendly and welcoming. However, the Egyptian business culture is a cutthroat experience. So expect to constantly be harassed and bothered by workers offering you camel pictures and horse rides, non-stop, all day long. Seriously, they will not stop asking you even if you say no multiple times. That they are trying to get you for as much money as you can. You pay for photographic equipment, you pay for secret entrances, you pay for tomb entrances. They try to charge you an extortionate amount on their horse carriages and camels. It's, uh, it's a pretty tough negotiating world in the pyramids here. The reality of visiting the pyramids is this. It's expensive. There's extra costs for photographic equipment, tomb entrances, and animal rides. On an expensive guided tour, you'll get lots of fun historical information. However, you will miss the majority of the best sights and views you've seen in this video, as they are not along the typical tourist Path most tours will take you on. Going alone is certainly a challenge, but completely worth it to see and truly experience this magical marvel of the world. All right, that was the crazy experience that is the pyramids in Giza, Egypt. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow. All right, so as you saw, I just climbed the side of that pyramid. Uh, it's not technically allowed to do it. But here's the thing about Egypt, is that there was a guard that was guarding the whole thing that basically was telling people you can't climb. Then you see somebody who may have money, kind of lets you climb a little bit, and he kind of expects a little tip in order to do so. This is like the jungle. You just have to do what you have to do to make things happen. One of the things I do not like about the pyramid so far is that five years ago when I was here, there was no cost to get into here. Now it costs you $25 just to go see the tomb. Crazy. It's so disappointing to see how expensive they've raised it up in four years. Obviously still wouldn't fly a drone because they've told me they've actually shot drones out of the air here uh, and you can go to prison. They've also told me that they don't put foreigners in prisons but they do try to blame somebody and that's usually an Egyptian. So they find out where you're staying and I have heard stories personally from guys who got arrested who work at a hotel or a hostel because one of the people that was staying there actually flew a drone or climbed the pyramid or did something very illegal uh, and they arrest them because they're staying at the hotel. So again, unfortunately Egypt has a lot of issues with the government, with the country and it doesn't seem fair, does it? The idea of the bureaucracy of different countries and different governments. Gotta pick your battles, trying to help you out, but then they try to sell you a camel, it's just non-stop. That is part of the experience here in the pyramids of Egypt is you will not be left alone. <laughs> just, gotta get, just have to accept it, get used to it.